There's not much fresh food on the farm this time of year, but one thing we have plenty of is duck eggs. The Cayuga and Ruin flocks are laying machines right now, so today I'm making a breakfast of baked duck eggs in a fonduta with mushrooms. This is a really, really decadent recipe and an absolutely amazing option for a Sunday brunch at home. All right, this recipe makes four servings, and for that we will need seven duck eggs, two cups half and half, or one cup whole milk and one cup cream, one ounce low sodium soy sauce, one ounce whiskey, eight ounces of cheese. I'm using blue cheese, but I realize this can be a bit disagreeable for some palates, and any cheese you would like would probably work. Fontina, provolone, or gruyere would be really obvious choices, but this could work with feta or cheddar or even goat cheese. Just go with whatever makes you happy. Next, we need 16 ounces of sliced mushrooms, half a teaspoon of dried mustard, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground black pepper, two tablespoons of butter, and about half a loaf of a hearty bread. First things first, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. This is also a good time to start some water boiling for a double boiler. While we're waiting for things to warm up, let's prep our bread soldiers. Cut your loaf into thick slices, then cut each slice into thick sticks. Set these aside. We're going to toast them later. They're not going to go stale in that time. Now, we put a skillet over high heat. Once things get nice and hot, we throw in our butter and let it melt. Then we're gonna throw in the mushrooms, salt and black pepper. We wanna get these guys browning and get the Maillard reaction going. Or, in honor of today's recipe, the Mallard reaction. You'll need to stir these guys every minute or two. And we're making a fondue, not a fondue. Fondues are made from north of the Alps and are normally cheese thinned out with a wine or ale until it's the consistency of honey. Fondudas are basically savory custards. And for this recipe, we're going to take ours a bit past custard and most of the way to pudding. But that's just to give us something more substantial on our soons when we eat it. Okay, so to make a custard, we need a double boiler. I've simply placed a bowl over a pot of boiling water and I'm going to pour the dairy into it. Here I'm using half and half, but this would work with pure milk or pure cream. It just depends on how many calories your guests can afford. Uh, you can probably do this with even soy or almond milk, but I've never tried it. While we're warming the dairy, toss the cheese with the flour, paprika, and mustard in a bowl. Our goal here is to coat all the small pieces of cheese with a thin layer of flour and spices. This will help us prevent clumps when we add the cheese to the hot milk. And at this point, our mushrooms are ready. So we can start finishing them off. Add the soy sauce and whiskey to the hot pan. It's going to sizzle dramatically as it boils off, and we're going to cook most of it away. Pay attention to this. It goes faster than you expect because there's so much alcohol in the whiskey. Keep stirring, and things are going to dry out pretty quick and the liquid is going to deglaze the pan for us and add a surprising depth of flavor. It really adds to the complexity of the mushrooms. As soon as we've evaporated most of the liquid, evenly distribute the mushrooms in the bottom of four ramekins. Once the milk is nice and warm, we toss in the cheese and start stirring. We really want to keep things moving here and integrate all of the cheese into the milk. If you have any, a pinch of sodium citrate would be a real help here, but it's not necessary. I didn't have any, so I just used muscle power. The dried mus mustard really does help us emulsify everything, and even if that's not enough, we're about to throw in a bunch of egg yolks, which will really help. The important thing is to keep it from congealing against the sides of the bowl. Keep scraping the edges of the bowl with your whisk, and you should be fine. Now that we've integrated the cheese, it's time to add the eggs. Since we're working with farm fresh eggs, we're using the two bowl system. Crack each egg into a small bowl before adding it to the bowl of the rest of the eggs. Duck eggs can be pretty unpredictable when they come from a flock like ours, and this is generally a best practice for all eggs. 
but especially if it's something farm fresh, better safe than sorry. You don't want to ruin all the eggs you've already cracked. Once you have all three eggs in the bowl, do as I say and not as I do. You want to scramble these before you start adding the hot milk. Doing it the other way around is just not fun. We take a ladle of the hot dairy mixture and mix it into the eggs to start tempering them. Once the eggs are warmed, everything is thinned out, slowly add them back to the hot milk and stir constantly so we don't wind up with lumps of scrambled eggs. And then keep stirring it until the entire mixture thickens up. Once it's nice and thick, we're ready to assemble. Divide most of the liquid into the four ramekins, pouring it over the mushrooms. Then, carefully crack the duck eggs into the bowl and pour them into the center of each ramekin one by one. Once you have an egg in each one, go ahead and take the rest of your fonduta and top off each of the bowls. This way we don't accidentally overfill any one bowl. Now for the tricky part. These things can be a bit unpredictable to bake. It really depends on your equipment in your kitchen, exactly what temperature and time to use. So I bake mine for about eight minutes at 425 degrees Fahrenheit, and this works for me to produce a nice runny yolk. You might have better luck baking at a lower temperature for longer. 350 for about 12 minutes works pretty well for some people. No matter what, once you get to about 75% of the time, really start watching the eggs. You want to pull them out as soon as the lights set. This is a dish that's meant to serve immediately. If you do not, the yolk will set up. So simply place each ramekin on a dish with a few of the toast soldiers, then dip and enjoy. These are absolutely delicious. The mushrooms add some body and substance to the dish when you spoon out the custard. And you really can't beat the combination of yolk and egg and cheese and toast. The richer, earthier flavor of the duck eggs does pair quite well with blue cheese. So, as always, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, please take the time to hit the subscribe button. If you try this recipe or make a variation of it, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. As always, until next time, and enjoy! Okay.